When working with Java collections, one of the most common questions is, when should I use a list set, map, or queue? Let's break it down. First up, list. Use a list when you need to maintain the insertion order of elements, access them by index, and allow duplicates. It's great for ordered collections where position matters. For example, a list of student names in a class. Alice, Bob, Alice. You want to keep the order, and it's okay if some names appear more than once. Popular list types include array list, linked list, and vector. Next, set. Choose a set when you want to prevent duplicates and you don't care much about the order unless you're using a specific set type like tree set or linked hash set. Sets are perfect for unique items like user IDs or tags. Now, map. Use a map when you need to store data as key value pairs, like a dictionary. For example, the key A maps to apple, B maps to banana. Common map implementations are hash map, tree map, and linked hash map. Finally, queue. A queue is your go-to when you want to process elements in order, typically first in, first out. It's often used in task scheduling, messaging systems, or buffering data. Imagine customer service tickets. The first request gets handled first. Use linked list or array quay for basic queues or priority queue when you want to serve items based on importance. So, list for ordered indexed data with duplicates, like a to-do list, set for unique items, like registered users, map for key value pairs, like a phone book, queue for orderly processing, like handling tasks or messages. Choose the right one for the job and let the Java collections work for you.